Welcome back. It's time for us to take on Castle Morn. I kind of want to try and keep the zone itself, or at least most of it, as its own one episode. So this may well be a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Um, there are going to be some dungeons that maybe I'll split up into, into more than that, because some of them are much longer. Um, this is kind of our first look then at, I guess, kind of a what, it, what, a, what a main dungeon might look like. This is obviously shorter than most of them, so I don't mean like a full-on like storm veil kind of area, but um, you start kind of seeing a bit more of the intricacies of exploring around an area like this one. Maybe we come out, we're going to want to head straight to the left. I'm going to head up these stairs, just for the first bit of loot here. Oh, there's more than one dog here, here we go. Ouch. Ouch. I'm really going to start struggling with this lack of health, aren't I? Should have used my runes. It's fine, there'll be, there'll be other graces. I guess we'll see. Really? That's strange. Almost because I hit it in the face. Um, so it's up to you guys if you want to take on everything in the middle. We're going to opt to uh, avoid it for now. Just so we can progress with the zone, mostly. You know, these are all taking two shots, so let's just use that to our advantage. As you can see, there are actually enemies all fighting each other in here, so it's all good. I find this dude quite interesting just because he's kind of crying over his uh, dead friends. Nice bit of storytelling there. Finish you off. It's a good bit of range for me there. It's kind of interesting. The guy up there looked was a boss before. Which is funny. Eh, let's get some of the walls out, why not? See how long they last for, I don't really know how long they get to stay with us for. Things have been given it. Got this. It's just not aggro on us right now. Hmm. So over here is the claymore. Absolutely lovely weapon for those that uh, want a medium-sized greatsword. So those walls were a bit of a waste. That was a waste of FP. Ouch. Oh my god. Oh, you're absolute ridiculous high armor. So high problem refers to when something can't be staggered at all out of an animation or move, which uh, seemed like they had, because they don't normally have poise. Could have skipped this ladder, couldn't I? Sorry for that. It's a long one. Okay. Let's do some penetration here. These are my favourite kinds of encounters though. And not because they're necessarily easy, I just really like the character as the world that we've got like different factions fighting. It's something I wish that there was more of in the game. Torch, yes. No, I'm not using that tool. Although it does have a fun weapon art. There's you can like kind of breathe fire, fire with it or spit fire, however you want to call that. Just head on up the ladder.
don't think there's any reflect here. No, we just need to drop off here. Uh, and just kind of for reference then, that's where we came up before, look. And down there is a ladder, if we can look over, which is kind of beyond where we would have defeated the onion-headed guy. So this is kind of where it all meets together. And if we die at this point then, instead of um, taking the route where we went for the claymore, we can just come up this ladder instead. Just as a bit of a shortcut for you guys to, to have in your in your minds. I'm just trying to remember where Edgar is. Oh, we're close to him. He's on the left side, actually. He's over there, isn't he? In the square tower. Ouch. I've got to be careful of these. If there's anything that's going to give me trouble, it's always the range stuff, especially when it's fast like this. That stamina regen is actually mega useful. I'm going to run out of blue. Am I going to run out of blue? I hope I don't. That means we've got to get more mind when we next level up. And I really wanted health. <laughs> this is funny. I'm loving it. Um, the boss of this area might actually be really troublesome for me if I don't actually get some health. That's the path of progression. Um, so if you're off really, 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 really feeling it, you can jump down there right now and uh, get the grace. So that's kind of towards the boss. Instead then, we want to down here for now. Well, I suppose we could have left this bit until after the boss. Because we're going to have to come back and talk to him anyway when we have the weapon that the boss gives us. I think we are over halfway, so that's good actually. And I'm not expecting the boss to put up much of a fight against Lutal either, because it struggles against good shields. Let's speak to this guy. Should ask us if we want to give him the letter. I don't want that. Yeah, deliver a reader's letter. Can't leave until we defeat the boss. Yeah, 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 we'll do that, don't worry. So we can head on back over this way. Unfortunately, we've got to go back there after we defeat the boss. I should have maybe planned it that way. Oh, well, don't matter. We're good now. I think that's everything on this part of the castle. Just double check. Now we've got a sacrificial twig, torch. Uh, not bothered about the mess we've got in creatures. Got the claymore. Yeah, we're good. We're good. The only thing is the twin blade talisman. We don't get that until we do the drop down, so that's fine. Just checking everything. Right. I'm off here. Reach out and touch Grace. Mm. Tough decision. Life. Or mana. Life or mana. It's gotta be life for now. We're getting we're, we're pushing it a little bit too much in terms of not having enough health to deal with stuff. Um, and it's not gonna be long before I'm going to regret that, so wanna drop off this bit first, we should get a stone sword key. No loot there. I thought there was loot there. Don't know why. Um, rats in here, from you right me? Is it rats? Or is it slimes? Yes, yeah, slime. There we go. One of the most wasteful enemies to attack.
There's another one on the right hand side as well. It can be kind of annoying because they usually... Oh, I guess this one isn't stopping me from fast travel now. So you want to make sure you clear your way across this bridge. <clears throat> because there's one of the bigger looking... Um, well, stop. I don't want to aggro on that. One of the bigger axe wielding guys just ahead. And we don't really want to be getting caught off guard. If we can help it. Oh man. It's a good job you don't have a run. So it's up this way. Should be for the uh, twin blade talisman. Getting quite a lot of nice items now, which is good. Twin blade talisman. There we go. So now we can head on down the ladder. Whoa! -ho -ho. I nearly fell to my death. Could have been bad. Next up then. Then we get onto the rooftop you can see just here. Doesn't matter if you run or jump, I don't think. You should be fine either way. Anyone drop off on this side. The twinkling we can hear is just one of the um, red scarabs. You can get it if you want. It's just going to recover some red flasks, but we haven't really used any along there. It's kind of a short part. I'm going to jump across here. We're going to get another grace in a second as well. I don't know why they kind of rear loaded the graces like they did. Uh, yeah, so we're going to want to. This is why I thought rats earlier. Smithing stone, too. Oh, we just need one more, and the rapier will be a little, little better off. Now a really good spell for something is below is the rock sling because the way it kind of just uh, comes out a little bit usually allows it to uh, to track downwards better but this small tower in is pre preventing it. Okay, I guess we're just going to run out of this room then. Straight around for the grease. There we are. That'll be that room reset, which is nice. I guess we should get the loot in there. Ouch. Stop that. Just so we get everything. Especially when it's a weapon. Just reset that again. Okay, so with that done then, we've got two things left to do. We're going to deal with the crab. I can't what we get from the crab. I think we do actually get something from it as well. can't actually show the tutorial for it here either. Usually they like have like bubbles coming out above them so that you can kind of see where they're going to be. I'm stuck on a corner. Damn it. That's what I wanted. Are they going to aggro on me instead of that? Oh no! <laughs> I didn't know it could do. I didn't know it would work out that way. I thought they'd fight themselves. Right, okay. Let's do it. Again. Thought this dropped something good. Nope, just crab eggs. I'm sure there's something down here though. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Yeah, here we go. Fire arrows. Ah, oh, that was really not worth it. They've all uh, calmed down on me now. It's good. 
Cool. So we're just going to reset because I'm probably in a little bit of a bad way, bad place. Nah, you know what? Let's just, let's just do the boss. We should be good. As long as Lutal gets the first aggro, we should be uh, able to manage this guy. Just be careful. This guy is really aggressive and is mo actually most vulnerable to a shield. So uh, this is something that we are innately just weak against right now. So just bear that in mind. But Lutal's already gone off to, uh, to draw his attention, which is great. Uh, but he's got he's got amazing ability to close distances. Uh, it's real fast and does good damage. So just be careful. As you can see, they look look who's sagging in there. Here, they got me. No! Oh my god! Spamming moves on me. I think we get to call that pretty much cheese. <laughs> cool, so we can basically show that sword to Edgar in a second. Let's just tag this. I don't think there's anything around this tree. Let me just double check. We actually did this in much better time than I thought we were going to. Which is real nice. Yep, right, we're good. So all we need to do is go back to Edgar to uh, show him the sword. We're going to have to start from the front, which is unfortunate. Before we go trying to run past a load of stuff, just make sure we are spending some points. I definitely want more FP right now. Let's call the lift back down. Head on back up the lift. Come on now. Just turning this in is going to make it more like close to 20 minutes on its own. Come on. Oh, the nose of the way back to here. We've got to show it anyway. Uh, let's just try being cheeky. Them dogs are gonna aggro me, aren't they? Problem is, like just running straight past is dangerous because there is a demi-human dude just past here. The next level. So, just in case you don't remember, square tower is what we're looking for. Let's get up to the top. Excuse me. I don't think we can jump over really, can we? No, we have to get up over there. Get in there quickly. You. It's a group fight. It's off. Wrong thing. Even in this. It's going to speak to our old Edgar then. It's going to move him on. We can do his ne the next bit of his quest and then it'll have him nice and set up in the next zone. Which is important. One of the NPCs. It's not essential for all of the trophies. Um, if you're doing like a faith build, you will want to, uh, to keep this done. Yeah, there he goes. He's happy now. Uh, if you want to check that he's happy now, if you quit and reload, he should be gone. But um, for us, it should be as simple as... Go to the bridge of sacrifice, and then when we go over there, we'll see that unfortunately, Vino is um, not with us anymore. Greener, how could this be? My daughter is fault, right? Right, and oh. the foul. I'll hunt the rest ashore. 
So, he's uh, obviously very unhappy. And that is going to be the end of this episode. That is Weeping Peninsula knocked out quite nicely, actually. Apart from Mobbit. We could go and have a rematch, but we'll, we'll save that for now. Next up, then, we probably should deal with the lake and saving this for time right now. I don't actually know if we have enough health for the dragon, so it should be fun. Either way, uh, I will meet you guys. This is probably the best place. It doesn't really matter. Probably meet you guys at the Akeel Lake South in the next episode. See you guys again soon.